Awesome. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for having me on your show. I'm here tonight with um, Morgan Ripley. Um, Riley. <laughs> Riley. <laughs> I know, it's cute. Ripley, Riley, yeah. Almost. <laughs> Okay. Very similar. <laughs> okay. Um, was you um affected by the hurricane, Florence? Um, no, actually, I wasn't because I'm in uh, the Fountain Inn, Greenville, South Carolina area, not really near the coast. It's like four hours away from Myrtle Beach. Um, so we got a little bit of rain, but that was about it. Okay. Um, you was um signed to um. Skytone um, Records. Um, what was your reason for um, changing? Uh, well, I got an awesome offer um, from Solaris Entertainment, and Skytone Entertainment wasn't doing um, enough for me in my career. I mean, they basically um, did all they could do, and we put a lot of money in the company. So it was just time to move on, and I got a better offer, and uh, I took it. And um, you, uh, you're um, delivering um, three albums over the next five years? Yeah, um, three albums, but we're going to be doing several EPs. So it's like a total uh, songs, which makes an album usually 10 to 12 songs. So we're counting the number of EPs. Usually EPs are around four to six songs. So if you do the math, you know, we'll definitely have probably about 30 songs before it's done in the next five years, maybe even more. <laughs> so you can uh, spread your wings more with the new company. Um, well, so um, well, but basically I wasn't, my contract was up with Skyton Entertainment and uh, we had a good run for a while. Um, but I auditioned for this, this reality TV show um, my, my producer Michael Bloom is doing in March and there were like 6,000 people who auditioned and they interviewed 17. Um, I was one of the inter interviewees and um, they picked three people they signed to the company and I was one of the ones they signed. Wow. So um, <clears throat> I let, you know, we, we ended on good terms and uh, wish Frank well. Um, I just it wasn't right for me, you know. I think I could have gotten farther along in my career. Um, certain things were happening, so I'll just leave it at that. You know, it's time to move and yeah. how to do that. So. Okay. Um, we're gonna play um, one of your new songs. Um, I don't, I don't miss you anymore. Yes, sir. Good job. <laughs> Oh, you're playing it out. <laughs> okay. It's around 4 a.m. and I'm laying in bed. Thoughts of you still in my head and I just can't sleep. It's killing me. It's like yesterday I knew that you were gone, but today I wake up and I don't feel as strong.
picture still hangs on the wall beside my bed and i can't get you out of my mind you're inside my head i wish i could say i don't miss you Um, Morgan, um, um, was, yes. was there any, um, co-writers, um, on the EP? Oh, uh, yes, on the EP, um, I had several, for this one, I have several other EPs coming out, but for this EP, there's four songs, and I had, um, Wallace White on there, um, myself, uh, James Breedwell co-writer with a song with Frank Green, um, and that was basically it. There's four songs, and those were the, the writers on the EP, myself included. Okay. Um, when you heard the EP for the first time, um, would you yeah. um, change any time, anything um, for the next recording? Um, well, each recording, you know, as an artist, you grow different, and you grow stronger every day. You learn something new every day, so... I know I'm hoping that each EP I do will just keep getting better and better. That's the goal as an artist to just try to, you know, do the best you can do. And um, hopefully the fans love it. And that's kind of my goal in the end. <laughs> okay. uh, where can um, people go and um, download uh, the new EP? Uh, well, the new EP is technically not out yet. You're the first one oh. to even air the song. So look how special you are, Rich. <laughs> um, but it's coming out uh, probably within a day or two. The fan club's going to get it first. So if you want to hear the whole thing, you can go to morganreillycountry.com and join the fan club. And I'm probably going to send out a newsletter tomorrow with the EP. And the, everyone else will get it sometime next week. But it'll be on Apple, Google Play, iTunes, um, Apple Music, Spotify, basically everywhere. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's uh, through Solaris Entertainment and through Sony Music as well. So it's going to every outlet of, on the Internet. Okay. Um, where can um, people um, check your music out and tour dates and um videos well um my tour dates are coming soon i'm actually going on tour next year um for over 14 weeks with paul overstreet uh we're going to europe and uh those dates are coming soon on my website but um you can find everything at morganreillycountry.com and when the europe tour gets a little closer because we're scheduled to leave in march 2019 so when that gets a little closer, I'm going to post the dates um, and the venues and everything where people can get tickets and stuff. And the uh, EP is um, Break Loose? Yes, the EP uh, is Break Loose, and the fans actually help uh, choose that name. We had two ideas, Letting Go or Break Loose, that so we did like a little voting thing, and um, they were very, very close. Um, but we decided to go with Break Loose, um, and that kind of goes with every single song on there. You know, Let You Love Me is about recovering from addiction, so it's like breaking loose of that habit and finding God. And um, I Don't Miss You Anymore, that one is like breaking loose from the heartache and the pain of losing somebody. And yeah, Before It's Too Much is a song about breaking loose and actually losing control, you know, breaking loose the wrong way in that song. Um, it's kind of, I call it my angel and devil song. Cause it's kind of like having a good uh, angel on one side and a devil on the other telling you to do certain things and, you know, you can lose control and it becomes too much. And that's what that song's about. And 
there's one that I co-writer with um, James Breedwell in Nashville, as, as well as Frank Green in Nashville, and that one is um, about You Ain't Gonna Break Me, so you can kind of, it's a relationship song and being strong and breaking loose from that hold that you had in that relationship. So it all kind of went, went together, and that's how we came up with that name. Actually, I need to thank my wonderful husband for that because he actually came up with that. I was like, Dave, I need I need a name for the EP. And he was like, how about Break Loose? And I was like, I like that. <laughs> so, okay. Got to give a shout out to Daniel. <laughs> my husband. Okay. Well, um, thanks for um, being on the show tonight. I really enjoyed talking yes. to you. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, just a quick shout out to everyone listening, all the fans, and my wonderful label, Solaris Entertainment, and just all the people who helped put this EP together, producers Jeff Bohannon, and at Facility Nashville, J. Bo Productions, Music Productions, sorry. Jeff will be like, don't forget to say music. <laughs> and uh, Michael Bloom is one of the producers as well on the record. So um, it's really exciting, and I can't wait to share it with everybody. And Rich, I really appreciate you having me on the show tonight well thank you uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to do the first first interview on it <laughs> <laughs> no problem yes you're very special <laughs> okay.